Although there is no evidence the Templars were involved in the construction of the Gothic cathedrals, their patron Saint Bernard of Clairvaux and the Cistercians, as well as other orders, especially the Clunics, played a central role in the rapid spread of the architectural style. The Champagne Fairs, where the Templars played a central role, were also important in the spread and exchange of cultural influences. The first appearance of Gothic architecture in Italy was the result of merchants from Siena rebuilding their houses in the northern style. The Templars managed a large economic infrastructure throughout the Christian world, innovating financial techniques that were an early form of banking and building fortifications across Europe and the Holy Land. The Templars acquired large tracts of land both in Europe and the Middle East. They bought and managed farms and vineyards. They were involved in manufacturing, import and export, and had their own fleet of ships. At one point, they even owned the entire island of Cyprus. The Templars arguably qualified as the world's first multinational corporation. The Templars also built massive stone cathedrals and castles. In these projects, the Templars relied heavily on the skills and knowledge of the Jewish Kabbalists. The time of the Templars coincided with the flourishing of Gothic architecture, in a style previously unknown to the West. Although there is no evidence the Templars had a role in their construction, a number of medieval guilds were, who in certain instances, had interactions with the Order. The primary guild involved in building the Gothic cathedrals were the stonemasons, who carried on their tradition orally. This new style of architecture, a departure from Romanesque, in fact was profoundly influenced by Islamic architecture, chiefly through Spanish examples, such as the Alhambra in Granada. The forerunner of the stained glass in the European cathedrals was the enameled and variegated varieties of Sidon, Tyre, and of Assyrian cities, a survival of the ancient Phoenician industry, the ribbed vault, the flying buttress, and the pointed arc, which marked its transition from Romanesque architecture, are all details which can be traced directly to the Islamic style, as well the slightly splayed entranceways that began to appear in Islamic mosques are very prominent in Gothic architecture superimposed on Merkabah's architectural notion of the, quote, body of God, is the symbolism of the throne and temple of Solomon, which according to Shuchard, would find its greatest architectural expression in the towering Gothic cathedrals built by Christian stonemasons, end quote, of which the Templars were the most famous example.